All right, welcome back to another episode. I've already been through quite a doozy trying to get this loaded up. Um, this game has been giving me a lot of problems recently. Um, so I'll tell you what happened really quick and then we can jump into it. Um, so last time the game crashed uh, right you know, as I was finishing up. Um, the, the record file on OBS got corrupted. So I wasn't able to uh, show you guys that. Um, and then as I was loading it up today, I couldn't bring up this load file. So if any of you guys are having this problem, all I had to do was go to my Steam library, click on properties of this game, and find the option to verify... Verify something. Hold up. I'll tell you exactly what it was. Verify integrity of game cache. And that's it. Uh, it seemed to work. So... Now when I start the game, it, it brings me to my correct point. So let me, uh, once again, just show you guys where we're at. Um, so we're about to speak to Jason Bright, the leader of the Repcon Ghouls, um, and tell him that the Nightkin down in the basement have been, uh, have left, because I took care of them. And there's Jason right there. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Um, <clears throat> interesting looking guy here. Uh, what's he talking about, a great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland. Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Ah, yes. Um, I have had this conversation with him already, but I didn't get too far past that. Um, he's referring to the Nightkin down in the basement, so let me tell him I took care the of him. The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us, as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely, and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died, or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. These guys are so crazy, I don't even want to help them. Um, the demon he's referring to that raved at them was Davison. Uh, the big nightkin who's trying to find the, the box of uh, stealth boys. <clears throat> I couldn't find them for him. I told him they got shipped away. So that's why they all left um, in the previous episode. Um, so I'm going to tell him the, demon, the demons are gone. Praise the creator and bless you, wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. Oh, they're running. Look at them. Alright, so they're going to the basement. <clears throat> and what they hope to find is their uh, great beyond. Going to salvation. Little do they know, uh, they're about to get on a rocket. Gonna blast them to high hell. I'm not gonna take that. Keep my karma good. Only if I find something really good will I take it. Alright, X, I just don't need it. Yeah, so this whole section is just hilarious to me. Um, and I believe there's a section that's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna play some music that's... It's copyrighted, so I can't play it for you guys, but I think it's... Ah, uh, what is it? Uh, 1812 Overture? I might be getting my classics mixed up. I know 1812 Overture well, I just don't know if that's the one that plays 
But anyway, it's a hilarious sight. But here I am, spoiling things. I probably shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Let's get down to the basement. Get this quest completed. Uh, let's go this way. I'm trying to remember what I have and haven't done in this save file. Yeah, it's this way. Because I've already cleared everything out down here, but I haven't... I haven't looked at the entirety of the basement, so... I think I'm going to take a right this time. I'm supposed to go left. But I'm going to take a right, because I haven't been down here yet. I chose the uh, more passive way to get all the, um, the nightkin out. You could either clear them out by shooting them and killing them. Or you can be smart and do what I did. I'm just going to take a real quick second. Okay, now that leads around. I want to make sure there's nothing important down here. No. Health boy, why not? Yeah, not too much in there. Alright. Seems I made the right play. Paint gun. Oh, I thought that was a real gun. Yeah, clearing all these guys out manually would have taken a very long time. Um, one thing that you guys didn't get to see was Harland. And I actually thought Harland was pretty cool. He was a ghoul down here. Um, he led... He led some of the worshippers down here. And uh, he was kind of just holed up um, in one of the rooms with a bunch of traps everywhere trying to fend off the uh, Nightkin. And he seemed like a pretty cool guy. If I had the chance, I probably would have made him a companion. But, um, I didn't get that chance. Because I had to kill him, unfortunately. Um, I think it's intended that you either go with... I don't have the key. You either go with Harland or Davison. And Davison is the, uh, the nightkin who was looking for the stealth boys. And for the sake of simplicity, I went with Davison. And I also thought he would be able to... To, uh, be at my side to clear everyone out. But, turns out he did it just in a roundabout way. Kind of confusing, just retelling it. It's kind of unfortunate I lost that file. But it's okay. Scrap metal. I have a feeling I'm, I'm overlooking where the key is. It's not too big a deal. If I miss it. Oh. There you go. I was about to just not check. Kind of. Uh, buckled down on, you know, not searching every single thing, but probably a good thing I, uh, I did right there. Alright, let's go back. Let's see what's in this jail cell. Alright, it's over here. I have a labyrinth down here. There's nothing to loot. It's just a robe. Think about it. I came all the way down here. To 
this elaborate maze just to pick up a robe. Kind of pointless. Alright. Making our way back up. Or technically down, because we're going down to the basement. I've gone the wrong way. Like I said... Elaborate maze. I think I go right? No. It's up here, and then I take a right. That's it. There we go. That's where uh, Davison was. So I came in here and talked to him. Um, and then I came in here... Oh wait, no, that takes me down to the basement. The basement below the basement. This over here to the right took me to Harland. Here we go. Yeah, so Harland was up here. And I had to kill him, unfortunately. Um, but he did have... Okay, that's tripwire. I'm not going to go back here because... Actually, I am. I'm going to sneak around. Because he does have some rounds back here. Have to be very careful. Don't need those. He has a couple more rounds back here, I thought. No. Okay. Must be random. Okay. So now let's go down to the basement. Watch them, uh... Go to the great beyond, as they call it. See what exactly that means. Hopefully the game doesn't have uh, as many issues loading as it's been having. But if I just have to go into Steam and, and verify the integrity of the cache... Cache? I don't know. I say cache. Um, then that's fine. I'll just do that every time. I mean, it's not too big a deal. And this game is relatively old, so... That's okay. Alright, Jason. Let's see what happens here. I wish here. to speak with you one last time before I descend into the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Alright, so before this guy blasts off, let's, uh, let's ask him all these, you know, uh, backstory type questions. So, what is the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Um, and then if you guys didn't see, Chris is a regular guy. He's not a ghoul, he's just a human. Only a man. Um, he thinks he's a ghoul. And he's helping these guys get to the great beyond. So, I just want him to clarify that for you guys, because you guys didn't get to see that. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. 
such great character writing just for these tiny people who, you know, have appearances for under 10 minutes. Um, so much detail put into this guy. Um, so the idea is, is that they're going to leave Chris behind, if that's true. Such is the creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. Mm. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Well, yeah, he really pulled the wool over his eyes. Got him to help you and then, uh, bounced him away. Uh, it's none of my business. I'll say that. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. That and seeing... How terribly this is about to go. Um, yeah, are you seriously going to make your great journey on these rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. I wonder what he was on um, when he saw those visions. Um, straight into the ground. I, I'll say it, even though there's no convincing this guy otherwise. These rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. You got it, buddy. And speak of the devil, here's yes. Chris. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. That is correct. I need, uh, I need some stuff, is what he said. So I can ask him what he does here, um, but he just helps them with everything. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you guys. What do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Uh, of course. Why don't they let you work down on the launch pad? Yeah, let me ask some tough questions for him here. When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see if I can convince him, convince him somehow. Uh, the radiation down there would kill you, Chris, because you're human. I thought we were past all that, smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversom won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversom. You're neurotic. <laughs> okay, uh, I didn't expect to get a map marker there. Um, yeah, I want to keep him going. This guy's, this guy's going on a rant. Uh, so you left your vault because you were going bald? Bald? You call this bald, smooth skin? I'm a monster. A monster! So he admits that he's hideous, but I mean, clearly he looks uh, completely normal. Um, it looks like I do have enough. So speech fifty. Jason told me himself, "The great journey is for ghouls only. You're not going." Okay, that would drastically change the outcome of this. Hmm. All right, I got to make a decision here. I'm going to I'm going to try this one. That's interesting. I didn't know I had the option of like convincing this guy. I'm going to try this. If everything doesn't work out, I'll see what happens.
Oh, God. You're telling me the truth, aren't you? Oh, no. How could they do this to me? For two years? My God, I've been a joke to them. Do you have any idea how easy it'd be for me to sabotage those rockets? That'd be a joke, huh? One hell of a joke. Hmm. Okay. All right. I like how he still wants to help them. Well, okay. No. He still wants to fix the rocket, so the, the quest will continue. I thought, I was afraid that it would just cut off right there. And he'd say he'd refuse to help. However, we can sabotage it. Or we can convince him not to. I think it's going to go terribly uh, either way. So let's try to convince him not to do that. So let's say that'd be murder, Chris, and you're no murderer. What, you think I'm too stupid to pull it off? I know enough to get their rockets working, don't I? So I can make them fail, too. Hmm. I think it's gonna blow up either way. I think I want to keep them alive, so... I'm gonna say it's not a matter of smarts. You'd never forgive yourself. Like I could forgive myself for getting duped like this? They used me, and now they'll throw me away. Uh-oh. Guy's hell-bent on killing him. Um... It's, it's never-ending. They'd take you if they could, Chris, but you'd die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? Jesus. That's frustrating. They're going to, uh, revere you as a saint, Chris. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. It, it is desperately wanting me to click on this one. Uh, sabotage is being a great idea. Um, I'll just keep going. That's not true, Chris. You're alright? So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland? No. Is that it? No. There's a little town called Novak down the road. Hmm. Yeah. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. I'll get Jason and his flock on their way, and then I'll head for Novak. Sweet. And I didn't have to go pick up all the parts. Hey. Are you ready to get started? Those rockets aren't going to launch themselves. Oh. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Alright. Well, I'm gonna track down them both, so... I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. There we go. Look at that. What about these rocket souvenirs? The stuff inside glows. That's the reason I picked them up. I, kn I just knew for sure they'd be used. Somewhere down the line. Yes, that's isotope 239, all right. And there's enough here to launch the rockets. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Look at that. Didn't even have to go look for it. Um, can you give me any tips for my current task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Okay. Oh, 
Alright. Let me highlight it. Find parts to fix the rocket's thrust controllers. Looks like we're going to the uh, Gibson scrapyard. That's fine, we can just fast travel. Curious where we are right now. Oh, okay. Just outside. Alright, let's fast travel over here. Pick these up real quick. Dogs scare me every time. Uh, we got red dots. Out there. But I'm not seeing anything. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? All right. Um, do you have any thrust control modules from Repcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. That is ridiculous. Look at that. As I have such a nice speech level, I can cut the price to 250. Yes, you are quite the smooth talker. What the hell? 250 it is. Sweet. 250 caps it is. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. And as easy as that. I want to see what's out here. It's probably the Legion. So it'd be very smart of me to save my game. So we know how this game is. There's definitely somebody with guns. I don't see them. Oh. Referring to, to the mole rats, but where did the gunfire come from? Oh, there it is. Oh, they are legion. Yeah, I'm gonna kill these guys. I don't like them around the city. Come here. Get my health up a little bit. I guess I don't need to do this, but... And by this, I mean kill these guys, but... I don't like them so close to the city. ain't doing much. I mean the 9mm. Yeah, let me try the 10. There we go. That dude was giving me a lot of trouble. Wow. 
over encumbered. Uh, I don't want to have to repair that. It would only be maintaining a little bit. Sawed off shotgun. Alright. You could probably eat the rest. Ant meat. Purified water. Oh, lots of these. There we go. Here they come. Oh, Jesus. Ton of damage right there. Drink some more of those. I need a doctor's bag. There we go. Oh my god, these guys are strong. It's like unbelievable how strong they are. Um, Alright, so let's go back to the Repcon test facility. Uh, they're just a little bit too strong for me. I don't know. Sometimes I think my guns are like overpowered, depending on who I'm fighting. Then I fight someone who's like halfway decent. And they just seem, like, crazy underpowered. I mean, then again, literally what I'm wearing has no damage resistance at all. So, maybe I should get rid of that. But I'll worry about outfitting Have myself in a bit. you found the components we discussed? <clears throat> I sure did. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. Well, I'm ready to go, so let's, uh, the rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. The rockets are ready, Jason. The great journey can begin. Good luck, I guess. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks, and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing, and we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, more the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hey. 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 Hello. I'll just, uh, say hey to one another. I don't know if I'm supposed to stay and watch this. Morning. Yeah, they seem to just be wandering. Just want to, just want to make sure. Now they're still doing preparations and stuff. Okay, where are you at, Chris? What the heck? Where'd he go? 
Oh. Head to the viewing uh, platform to complete the launch sequence. Hold on. Can I talk to them? No. Oh, well. Okay. Wait, what was that? Oh. Um, before we go up, let me do this. Radio. I'm going to risk it. And I'm going to actually have music. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. No, radio. I don't want to have turned up. Okay. Back. Back. Continue. Because when I get up there, I'm going to actually tune it to the radio. Where is this viewing platform? It's highlighted like right here. Yeah, what's up with that? It also tells me to go there. Lots of places it's telling me to go. All right, well, it seems like I can't do anything here. Try one more time to speak with Jason. Nope, that doesn't work. So let's... Alright, let's head up. I'm making this more difficult than it needs to be. Alright, so head to the viewing platform. I'm assuming I can reach it by going this way. Then I'll tune to the radio station. So you guys can get the full effect of their insanity. And I just hope I'm going the right way. Yep. Okay. It would sure be a shame if I were to miss this. Although certainly I can't. Alright. Going through here. Seems like I can take any one of these doors that lead out. And of course, now I can't find them. Ah. Uh, there's one of them. No, but that one's not highlighted. Okay. Here's one. Thank God. All right. Well, where's Chris? Wait a minute. I want to be the in the same one that Chris is in. That one's lit up. But maybe there's another one. I'm sorry about all this. I, I really might have to to cut this part out. Because I'm I'm really confused right now. I still haven't spoken with Jason Bright. Or maybe that's just Um Yeah, it wants me to go down to the basement again. All right, let's, like I said, if I have to cut this out, I will. But yeah, this is, I'm really confused right now. Don't really know what to do. Because I know for a fact. Actually, I don't. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I thought Chris would be there. I don't think I'm the one who's supposed to launch it.
Is there like a level lower than what I'm going? That's what I'm wondering now. It can't be. Definitely wants me to go here. But I can't I can't go there. Oh Jesus. Oh accidentally. Almost just shot. I'm not gonna lie, Chief. I'm uh I'm confused. Like what is this? And what is that? Hold up, I gotta, I gotta go to the internet again. Alright, so, the problem is, this doesn't lead anywhere, so, um, and it seems like I'm not supposed to talk to Jason Bright, so let me go back up to the launch facility. Um, some of these things are kind of, I think some of these are like bugging out. So let me go. I know where to go now. Um, turns out I was supposed to be able to talk to Chris after Jason gave his little speech. But maybe because I spoke to him before, it didn't give me that option. So I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I'll go uh, up to the uh, launch site. And then it looks like I launch it. So, let's do that. Let's back up here. So just a little bit of time wasted, but... Only a little bit, unfortunate. I'm sure uh, other people have run into the issue before. So I guess what that means for me is... That Chris is like gone for good, or at least he he's already gone to Novak, is what it uh, would seem. All right, I guess this is a view as good as another. Uh, the console seems to have something to do with the course plotted for the rockets, but you can't make heads or tails out of how it works. Science fifty five required. Okay. I think you can adjust the course, but eh. Launch music signal found. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know how that affects Novak, but um, that's good news. Launch seemed to be a success. Bane gained in Novak. Quest completed. Was that a thousand XP that I just saw? I think it was. Maybe it's just a hundred. All right. Well, I got some perks. Let's get that to fifty. Um, 13 left. I could get this to 35. Hmm. Or I could continue. What if I got this to 60? I have three left. 25. Keep everything nice and even. Sweet. Take that. And it looks like we get another perk. <clears throat> Go through all these ones that I don't want. Alright, I think... 
The Here and Now perk immediately grants an additional experience level, complete with all the advantages that brings. I kind of like that, but it's, uh, I don't know. I'll wait. Just when your enemies think they have the upper hand, Misfortune appears to turn their worlds upside down. Appearing only in vats, she has the ability to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Hmm. Mysterious Stranger, you've gained your own personal guardian angel, armed with a fully loaded 44 Magnum. With this perk, the Mysterious Stranger will appear occasionally in vats, mode to lend a hand with deadly efficiency. Okay, I do use nats, uh, vats a lot, so maybe I should go with one of these. When the sun is down, a night person, ga person gains plus two to both intelligence and perception, up to a maximum of ten. This perk directly affects your internal clock and remains active both inside and outside. Hmm. Okay. I think commando would be nice. While using a rifle or similar two-handed weapon, your accuracy in VATS is significantly increased. I mean, that's... You can't go wrong with that. Um, however, we already have three in this, so a total of 30% total experience points whenever experience points are earned. That's, that's kind of insane. Um, and if we put another perk in there, that's 40%. So we're almost getting... We're getting close to where we're going to be getting double, well no, excuse me, a fourth, technically, right? Of the total. I don't know, half. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, I think I'm going to keep putting them in this, because that's just going to make me level up quicker. And, you know, if I'm looking to level up as quickly as possible... That's what I'll do. Alright. We're done. Yeah, it's over. Alright. Go into here, look at the quests. 